Jamal, whoa, hey. Jamal, what were you guys able to, to do differently tonight to make things tougher on them and play such good defense? Um, what do you think? Let's be more physical and uh, try to give them one shot, you know. Um, you know, they're a good offensive team. You can't let them have multiple chances at it. So I thought uh, we did a good job of rebounding together. Uh, everybody pitched in. And, um, you know, just be more physical. You know, uh, the energy is different when we're at home. The pace is a little, is a little faster for us. Uh, we got to carry that over to Phoenix. Well, overall, as a group, tough offensive second quarter. But then you started the third quarter, I think, 21-6. to six. What what changed or what got you nah, going? It happens. It happens. You know, you're not going to play perfect or make all the shots all game. So, you know, we struggled. I struggled early in the game. Um, I'm not going to force. That's why, you know, I have teammates. I have a very unselfish group of guys behind me that are going to lift me up, lift all of us up. Um, Bruce played amazing. Um, you know, KCP knocking down shots, timely shots. Mike got us going to start us the game. Uh, you know, was consistent throughout as usual. So, um, you now CB came in and gave us that great energy. Um, so everybody, man, you know, it's a team effort. You know, you're not going to play perfect. You know, you're going to struggle. They're going to go on runs. But I felt like, you know, we handled it just like we started the game. We started the half. And, uh, you know, that's huge for us. Jamal, you kind of touched on it there, but. My bad. No, you're good. Um, how much easier are those minutes you're playing with the bench when Bruce is in such an attack kind of downhill mentality? I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't even think of it like bench starters, bench starters. I'm just we're all we're all together. We're all the team. Um, we're all figuring it out together. But Bruce, like, you know, he's downhill, uh, making shots, putting pressure on the rim, um, making <laughs> making those floaters. You know, he's he, he's a hooper, man. Um, so I give him a lot of credit, just picking us up and, and staying consistent throughout all game, just attacking. Um, no, he was great, both ends as well. Jamal, knowing that this is your third game of five nights, um, you know, and, and that Devin and, and Kevin have been logging heavy minutes, especially heavy usage as well, was was there a, a push to, to try to um, to run a little bit more, to try to make them defend a little bit more, uh, especially with Devin on uh, on Michael Porter at the beginning of the game. Um, I mean, we're just focused on us playing the game the right way, being organized. Um, for us, it was, it was mainly defense. You know, we, we know offensively we're going to create the open shots, run stuff, which we pass the ball. We don't, you know, we don't want to turn it over, but um, we got to get stops and get back in transition. I think when we're doing that, then the offense is a lot easier to run through. There's not a lot of pressure on the offense. Um, so I thought the defense uh, carried us over. Um, even when we weren't making shots, we were getting the stops. Jamal, it seemed like you were really trying to target and attack Sham at the start of the third, and obviously you had that little moment talking trash, you got teed up. Was that kind of like reflective of the overall team energy mindset, you think, in that third? Or you were you trying I'm to just, set I'm just trying to get myself going sometimes. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, I don't know who's here watched me play before. You see me play? You see me play? All right. So sometimes, you know, I just need a little energy boost to myself, and, you know, once I. Uh, uh, once I'm in attack mode, then it kind of changes the game. So, um, you know, it's nothing personal. I'm just playing the game. He's he's playing defense. You know, he's trying to pressure me. He's trying to do his job, and I'm I'm trying to do mine as well. So, you know, it's just playoff basketball. It's nothing. Uh, there's nothing there. Jamal, you had that post up on campaign. Um, we see you in the post every, every now and then. How much do you kind of enjoy those opportunities to post up, and, and how much extra work do you put in behind the scenes footwork? And, and just in those, you know, scenarios so you can take advantage when that opportunity is there. I've been doing that my whole life, man. Um, I grew up playing the five because I was always taller than everybody. So I, I played the five, four, and then three to the one. So, um, you know, my footwork's there. Um, the pump fakes, the the, the the touch, the craftiness, you know, it's just I watched that MJ. I love Hakeem. Um, it's one of my favorites. Um, I feel he's a really underrated. Dirk is really underrated. Um, even for the guards, Brandon Roy is one of my favorite guys, you know, so obviously Michael. Um, so, I mean, I take a lot of things from a lot of guys and try to, you know, give my own little uh, touch to it. And, um, yeah, it's just fun to play with the feet, you know, play with the fakes and uh, get guys lifted sometimes. Jamal, just having dealt with the ball pressure that Phoenix has tried to apply to you the entire series that Minnesota was applying, what do you think was different about Devin's game maybe when you guys – decided to pressure him full court this time around? I think it slows the game down for them a little bit. You know, when they're, try they're trying to run and try and get out and, and create some opportunities in the fast break. Um, and, you know, I I'm telling all these guys, guard him like how they guard me, man, please. You know, so 
Um, I thought they did a great job just denying them and making them turn a little bit here and there. And um, like I said, it's not always about you no know, the wear and tear. You know, he's gonna get, he's gonna run by. He's gonna get past the. We're all great basketball players, but you know when they're starting to, to play at you know 15 seconds, 13 seconds, um, it helps us. It's good for us. So it's kind of like you know um, good in both ways, and uh, we want to stay consistent with that, especially on the road. Jamal, uh, pregame and at postgame, Malone credited your playmaking both in the last game and in this one. Uh, tonight, you got KCP going, you got MPJ going. Was there anything that you've seen from their coverages that have uh, allowed you to get more guys involved as the series has gone on? No, I kind of I kind of base it off the way I'm playing sometimes. You know, when, I, when I'm when i struggling in the first quarter like I did today, you know, I just try to run the offense, make sure everybody's in the right spots, get organized, you know, um, set other guys up, you know, let other guys make a play, and, you know, I'm not trying to force out there, so... I picked my spots. I've been doing that my whole career, and um, I try to put everybody in the right spot. And you know, today everybody played really well off the sets that we ran. So um, you know, I know the game's going to come. I'm not trying to force, and um, sometimes it's, that's just the, what the game calls for. To be honest with you, Jamal Malone was saying the other day he talked to you or t- uh, t- t- earlier today. He talked to you, and it felt like you guys were almost down coming out of Phoenix. I like so that's the overall feeling, but you really weren't. It was tied to all. How did you guys get back on track? And, or do you feel like you guys are back on track? And what has to happen in order for you guys to win it? I wouldn't say we get down. It's just, you know, it's a one-possession game as bad as we played. And it's like, you know, sometimes we, if we just lock in for a couple more possessions, um, despite the refs, despite what everything's going on, you know, you know, if we just lock in for a couple of possessions, you know, we got the game. And uh, it's frustrating when we don't play well and we're still right there and we know we can be, we can beat the team on the road. Um, and so I think it's just... We're not down on ourselves. We're just disappointed in, in uh, the way we handle it sometimes. So, you know, obviously we bounced back. We know what we had to, what we had to do, and um, and we did tonight. Now we got to carry over in Phoenix. Jamal, did you know Coach Cal was going to be here? And how cool was it that yeah. you guys get the win? You had a big game, and did you get to talk to him at all? Yeah, yeah, that's my guy. Um, yeah, that's my guy. He know he knows what I've been uh, what I've been through. He knows my game. Um, he knows what I'm capable of. I was playing the two. I was even handling the ball like that. So I was teasing him about it. Um, we could have been so much better if I was handling the ball a little bit, you know. Cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks.